What's up everyone? This is Weston coming at you with another video for my channel, The Travel Trail. It's November 7th, 2023, and today we'll be talking about what prominence is um, in reference to mountains and topography, topographic prominence, what makes a peak an ultra uh, prominent peak, um, aka ultra. That's kind of what I refer to these ultra prominent peaks as and what makes ultra prominent peaks so cool and so fun to climb. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy, hopefully it makes sense. I'll do my best to explain it in a way that actually makes sense. And if anything doesn't make sense, to be honest, I don't even fully understand prominence and I've been, <laughs> I've been doing these peaks for, you know, five years now. So Hey, we're all kind of in this together, but uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll move on to the actual bulk of the video. And if you notice in the the rest of the video that I look a little different right now compared to the rest of the video, that's because you're totally right. I'm recording this intro a few days after I recorded the rest of the video. Uh, you know, got a little bit more facial hair going. I actually did my hair today, so uh, hopefully that's not too big of a distraction for you. If it is, I apologize. Still getting the hang of this whole YouTube thing, but uh, hey, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. So to start off, um, you're probably wondering, what is prominence? What is an ultra prominent peak? What does that even mean? Maybe if you searched this video, you already know what it means, um, but most are probably just wondering what prominence is. And so I'll start off by kind of explaining what a prominent peak is and how to measure a mountain's prominence and why that's significant. Um, and it is kind of confusing to just explain verbally. You kind of have to see prominence to really understand it, but I'll do my best to explain how it works quickly. Um, if we just go to a definition of prominence, so there's a couple definitions that I'll read. The first one, straight from Wikipedia here, is the prominence of a peak is the last drop, sorry, the least drop in height necessary in order to get from the summit to any higher terrain. Uh, this can be calculated for a given peak in the following manner. Uh, for every, okay, so I'll skip that. Um, they kind of give a little explanation there. But that's, that's a pretty, again, that's kind of hard to, conceptualize just like in your head, but I'll kind of read it again slowly. So the prominence of a peak is the least drop in height necessary. So imagine you're on a peak and you see a higher neighboring peak somewhere off in the distance. So it's ba basically taking the path of the least drop over to that other summit. Um, that's the prominence of the current peak that you were standing on. So another definition that might help is, uh, let's see, the prominence is the height of a peak summit above the lowest contour line encircling it, but containing no higher summit within it. So that's, that's kind of also hard to understand, but a good way I, I like to imagine and kind of picture the way prominence works is imagine you've got this mountain range, okay? And let's just say that it was being filled up with water. Let's say it was the biblical flood, you know, Noah's Ark 2.0, and it's just flooding, filling up with water. The point, let's say you're standing on a summit and there's a bunch of other summits around you. The point at which the summit you are on becomes an island and it's totally encircled by water. That is the prominence of that peak. And so the highest point of that mountain range, um, that is going to become like an island that that is the highest point of a lot sooner than some of the smaller peaks. And so that's really important with prominence. It's always the highest peak within an encircling contour line. Um, and that's uh, kind of what make, that's what makes these prominent peaks, these ultra prominent peaks super impressive is it's always like the highest point of some really cool mountain range or the highest point um, in the surrounding area. 
So that's a little explanation on how prominence works. Uh, hopefully you're able to, every time I explain it to someone in person, it's kind of hard to like really get them to grasp it right then and there. But um, an ultra prominent peak is a peak with 5,000 feet of prominence or more. So that's obviously a lot of prominence. These are peaks that really stand out above all of the other peaks around. They're usually like the highest points of really significant and impressive mountain ranges or, you know, stratovolcanoes, um, just really big, impressive mountains that stand out over everything else. So that's kind of what makes this list um, so cool, in my opinion. You know, there's all sorts of peak, peak bagging lists out there that people pursue, like obviously the state high points, um, the Colorado 14ers, you know, there's, there's a bunch of lists out there that are probably a little bit more well known than the ultra prominent peaks. But if you're looking to just get into peak bagging or you're already in it, you're looking for another list. This is a, every single peak on this is really impressive and, um, you know, just really, it's going to have a great view at the top because it's standing out over everything else around it. Whereas, you know, the state high points, some of the, you know, some of the state high points is just kind of a, a big mound in the middle of a flat area, kind of boring, but yeah, this is a, a great list if you're looking to take on a fun peak bagging list.